We continue our road trip uh, visiting the historical plaques uh, at two churches in our area, and this time we are on Vermilier Road. Now, the person who named this church uh, might have been a very devout individual, but he seems to have lacked imagination because it's always been called the Stone Church. As the 1800s advanced and the communities thrived and they grew larger and more complex, it became possible for the people, as they gathered in their own uh, congregations, to attract resident ministers and ultimately to build churches. However, uh, the early churches were far from what we see today. They were very simple wooden structures, uh, very often rough-hewn wood. In fact, the first church uh, constructed by the Methodist in Belleville was on Pinnacle Street in 1815, a very small, simple wooden structure. Soon after that, the, the Anglican community built a church, which is currently St. Thomas. It too was a wooden structure, although it had some bricks in the front. And then about five years later, the Catholics built uh, the first St. Michael's. Again, a small, rough wooden structure, about 20 feet by 20 feet. Then in the ensuing years, and it wasn't very long actually, that the uh, communities grew very quickly and within 10 to 15 years, they were able to build the large uh, stone and brick churches, basically the same as we see today. And this brings me to the Stone Church, which has a very special characteristics in that it was constructed entirely of cobblestones. And there are very few, there may be three churches in all of Ontario constructed from cobblestone. So that makes this church a very special one. And it just uh, boggles the mind, you might say, how they could gather the thousands of these stones from all over this area and bring them together here to build the church. And equally for the builders and the masons to put it together in such a very solid form. It's been here for over 150 years. It was built between 1853 and 1856 by the Episcopal Methodists. And it served as a church uh, for over 100 years. In fact, in 1925, when a number of Methodist and Presbyterian churches came together to form the United Church, it went along with this and became a United Church and functioned as, a, as the religious center for this community until 1968. At that time, of course, many churches were closing and consolidating. This uh, church was ultimately sold as a, as a private residence, which it is today. So we would recommend uh, coming by uh, on Vermilion Road, take a look at this church, see the very special construction, the cobblestone structure. Uh, as it is a private residence, we would ask you to be very respectful. You can take a look at the plaque, but maybe see it all from the road. So let's get out and enjoy the uh, historical plaques and the sites here in rural Belleville and Quinty West.